Understanding the Elements of Poetry Hello, language enthusiasts. Poetry is an enchanting form of literary expression that's been cherished for centuries. Today, we'll dive deep into the core elements of poetry to better appreciate its beauty and depth. Let's get started. Every poem has a specific structure and form. These refer to the arrangement of words and lines in a poem. Stanzas. Poems are often divided into stanzas or paragraphs. These groupings can serve various purposes, like emphasizing certain ideas or setting a rhythm. Line length. Some poems have long lines, others short. This can affect the poem's pace and tone. For example, short lines might create urgency, while longer lines might feel more reflective. The musicality in poetry. Rhyme scheme. This refers to the pattern of rhymes at the end of each line. For example, a bob means the first and third lines rhyme, as do the second and fourth. Rhythm. A poem's rhythm is determined by the syllables in each line and where the stresses fall. This is what gives a poem its beat or tempo. Poetry often goes beyond literal meanings. Here's how. Metaphor and simile. These compare one thing to another to draw similarities. While metaphor states something is something else, e.g., the world is a stage, Similes use, like, or, as, e.g., she is as brave as a lion. Personification. This gives human qualities to non-human entities. For example, the wind whispered through the trees. Visually descriptive or figurative language. Imagery. Uses vivid and descriptive language to represent objects, actions, or ideas. It evokes a sensory experience. For example, the golden sun kissed the horizon. Symbolism. Using symbols to signify ideas and qualities, giving them symbolic meanings different from their literal sense. Like a dove often symbolizes peace. How the poem feels. Tone. This is the poet's attitude toward the poem's speaker, reader, and subject matter. It could be playful, serious, mocking, or any other emotion. Mood. Mood is the emotion the reader feels. A poem can make you feel joy, sorrow, anger, or any other emotion. There you have it. These are just the basics, and there's so much more to explore in poetry. As you continue reading and listening to poems, you'll start to notice and appreciate these elements even more. We hope you've found this guide illuminating. Keep exploring the beautiful world of poetry and let your imagination soar.